Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today we will be testing the range breakout expert advisor from the MQL5 market. And this could possibly be the best expert advisor that I tested so far on this channel because it does not use any martingale or grid functionalities. So I opened it here already in the MQL5 store and let's have a look about this. Um, so first of all, it um, we will read through the description a little bit and it says that is a real day trading strategy, what I said, without Martingale or grid functionalities. And um, it seems to trade like without indicators, but it trades time breakouts from a time period or time range. And there are also some screenshots provided here. And you can see like the testing results are really, really good. So we will do our own testing later on to figure out if this is valid. Um, also, there are some MyFX book um, documentations where we can see a a real IC Markets account and the track record is verified and the trading privileges are also verified. So this is always a good identifier that it might be something good. So first of all, <clears throat> let's have a look at um, the strategy itself and let's have a look at it in the MetaTrader 5. So first of all, to test a strategy in the market, we first of all have to get the demo version for it. So go to the navigator in your MetaTrader 5 and I will show it to you again. Uh, in the navigator, you click on expert advisors, then on right click expert advisor, buy from the market. And then you can just search for range breakout and then you will find it here, there's range breakout EA, you click on it. And then you can say download demo and this will download the demo for you that you can then use in the strategy tester. And this is what I did. So now you can see range breakout EA is here. And if I go to the, uh, or I can just uh, double click it, I think, and then I can click on common and test. <clears throat> and this should open the strategy tester for you. If it doesn't, you can click on view strategy tester to open or close the program. And then you can go to overview, visualize, and here you can choose expert, market, range breakout, EA. And then, um, yeah, you can just test it. So going back to the MQL5 entry here, it says that the default settings for the program are the ones um, that can be used for US dollar Japanese yen. And this is why I will test this in US dollar Japanese yen, because these are obviously the recommended um, settings if you want to say so and then in the inputs tab we can have a look at the settings so let's see um, what what we can do here uh, we can add some time frame for the range calculation then we have the trading volume i will just leave this as it is because this makes sense then we have the trading volume here we can choose between a fixed a lot size or a managed lot size where we increase um, the lot size depending on our, um, uh, on how much money we have in our account right now. So in this case, we would risk five um, or 0 0.01 lots for every 500 uh, euro or US dollar in our bank account. Then we can choose a target factor and a stop factor. This is um, the range uh, or the, the distance from the entry of the orders or the positions to the TP and or to the stop loss. In this case, we do not use a take profit as uh, in the in the default settings, but we have a stop loss which is uh, which has a factor of 1.0. Then we have several time settings, and here we can see this is used to define the range pretty much and when the orders are deleted and positions closed. We have several trading stop options that I will not use because they are not activated in the default settings you can see zero means inactive and then we have settings to filter how many trades we want to take these are pretty much the inputs that we can uh, can uh, make here and i will be testing starting from 2020 up to 2022 so let me just give this a quick run in the strategy tester when i click on start it will simulate this period with this program and give us the results that would most likely um, have happened if we would have traded this program with these settings in this market for the last um, yeah, nearly, nearly uh, three years. So I will have to wait a second until the chart is loaded here. 
And we can see if I speed this up a little bit, it draws this like range here in the chart. And you can see this starts at two o'clock in the morning. And this makes sense because these were the settings that we had here for the time settings for the range start. Also, the range end here is 3.30, so we should see this in the strategy tester as well. And you can see this uh, range ends at 3.30. So let me speed this up a little bit, and uh, we can see uh, in the time where this range is building, it increases as soon as there is a new high or a low price in this range period. Now the range is finished. And as soon as it is finished, you can see it here at 3.30, there are two orders placed. One of these orders is placed at the high of the range and one at the low of the range. And also we can see these are buy stop and sell stop orders, so none of them are executed. We can see that the stop loss is on the opposite side of the range and there is no take profit. So we will just wait until one order is executed and see what happens. Okay, so at this point, we see that the price is hitting the upper order, the upper pending order, and this, this should execute the, uh, the buy stop order. So we enter a buy position. And um, yeah, right now, uh, the price is not really going, oh, now it's going up. But it is coming back and we get stopped out. And uh, in the moment that we are stopped out with a buy position, we automatically open a sell position because this sell stop order was still there. Market is coming down here, which is really good. And then the position is closed at pretty much where these lines end. So this is 1955 and we can also find this in the settings. So we pretty much just take a maximum of, whoops, a maximum of two trades and then wait until the end of the day and see if the price goes in either one direction. So let's test this for another day. Here you can see there's another range. Price is coming down here in this case. So the sell stop order is executed. And in this case, yeah, let's see if this works better than the first day uh, or if the price will come back again. So the general idea of this program is that we have a range. I mean, we could choose any range, but I think it makes sense to choose a range at the start of a day to then have a high and a low pretty much and to then check if there will be a breakout from this range and um, if we are able to follow this trade like for the rest of the day because often um, the a market decides in the beginning of a day where it will go or where it will end um, at uh, end the day. So we, we can follow like the trend for a complete day with this program. And this is pretty much what um, this program does every single day. So we trade a maximum of one buy and one sell order. And um, we then just wait until the end of the day and uh, figure out if one of these trades will be um, or will make a profit or if we hit like the stop loss or if we end up somewhere in between. Um, here you can see there's another losing um, trade. But let's not have a look at all the single trades um, day by day because this will be like really time consuming. We can make another backtest without the visual mode to figure out if this could really work over a longer period. So again, I'm testing 2022 up to the, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm testing 2020 up to um, uh, October 2022. So pretty much the last three years um, because we already saw like this um, on the MQL5 entry. You can see there are some like screenshots from this MyFX book documentation where the performance is really, really good. And we should figure out if this is valid. And also there's a back test shown and we, uh, we have to figure out if this is valid or if this is uh, manipulated. And yeah, we can see here like right now it is looking good. So I will just wait until this test is finished and then get back to you.
Okay, the test is now finished and we can see that with these settings uh, and for the time period, the resides are, um, yeah, so far really good. We see that um, there were some periods that made really a big profit, like in the beginning and in the end. And then was there was like a some time periods where there were no real movement in the uh, account balance or equity and then sometimes uh, or some period with a slight increase. But um, this is really typical for strategies that do not use Martingale or Grid functionalities because Martingale and Grid is not a real strategy. It is just a mechanism that you can apply to any strategy pretty much which will um, increase the risk and also the reward. So in this case with Martingale and Grid you always see like this steady increasing uh, balance curve but with normal strategies, you of course cannot see this. And every normal strategy will have good periods and bad periods. Also, we can see like the bad backtesting resides here. But um, yeah, I mean, you can do your own testing with the program. I do not really want to tell, I want to do like too much testing because you can do it on your own. Also, you can test uh, other times, other markets. Um, you might find better or um, other results. But um, Let's have a look at one more thing because we just figured out that in the strategy tester we can get pretty much the same results. But then this um, article also says that it was traded on a live trading account. And um, at this point in the video, you probably already realized that this is uh, my own expert advisor, which I uploaded to the MQL5 store. And I can indeed uh, guarantee you that this is um, a real life, real trading performance. I can also show you like um, the MyFX book entry for this. Uh, so you can see if I sign in here, um, I can show you the portfolios that I have here. And you can see like, for example, this BM Trading Show 1 account is the account that I use um, to trade this strategy and many other strategies. So here right now, this is my VPS and this is the account where I trade this range breakout in uh, Euro US dollar here with the magic number one and in US dollar Japanese yen with uh, the magic number five. And this is, um, yeah, you can see it in the upper left corner. It's a live trading account. And in uh, MetaTrader, uh, sorry, in, in the MyFX book documentation, you can also open this portfolio. It is BM Trading Show 1. Uh, or one, sorry, this was uh, like the German number. And then you can click here on custom analysis. And if you go to magic and just select one and five and analyze, you will see um, the, um, the graph for only these two strategies. So you can see like uh, this uh, violet is, um, uh, this is euro, US dollar and the, um, uh, the other one here with magic number five, this is US dollar Japanese yen. So this is the market where it performed best in the last years in the live trading. So you can see if I only analyze US dollar Japanese yen, you can see this roughly made 50% um, profit. And of course, there were longer periods where it was like a sideways movement. But again, this is no Martin Gall and no grid system. This is like a real day trading strategy and you cannot expect it to make profits every week or every month. If you're searching for this, you should stick to your Martin Garden grid systems and yeah, you should have like the high risk systems that might blow up your account. This is more about like real trading with a logical idea behind it. And I think for most traders who want a more conservative uh, approach, this is a better strategy. And also for people who say that this is not enough um, performance, uh, this is, I mean, you cannot look at the absolute numbers. Uh, you cannot say like 6,000 euro is not a good return or 60% is not a good return because you can always increase the risk. For example, if I just increase the risk like uh, by a lot, this will increase the performance by a lot, of course. But also on the other hand, this will increase, this will also increase the, the risk. It will really 
skyrocket your risk if you increase the lot size just with any other system because i mean right now for this testing period i know it will be like really 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 good because i did the test before and there were no huge drawdowns but if you have the wrong period if you start the system now and maybe the next three four months are not going good and you have a risk that is just too high you will blow your account so you should be responsible with your money whatever system you trade and it is not about like the absolute return in uh, in in the account currency or in percent it's more like the ratio between risk and reward and you should always trade strategies or expert advisor that you feel comfortable with it's uh there, there's no um you, you do not you, you will not become happy if you trade a strategy that is just too risky for your own financial uh, personal situation so this is um yeah i will just let this uh, test finished here but um, again, if you want to have a look at this program, it is in the MQL5 market. I can guarantee you that these results that I have shown here, um, starting at the uh, start of 2018 for Euro, US dollar and US dollar Japanese yen, they are indeed real live trading results and you can, um, yeah, you will have the, the there's nothing like, tricky about it it's um uh, it's just the live trading result i cannot guarantee that it will look like this in the future but at least this is a strategy that is based on a real idea and there's no no martingale or grid oh sorry no martingale or grid uh, system or functionality involved here and this was something that uh, a lot of people were asking for on this channel so i decided to uh, put this strategy up in the market and you can test it on your own just try the demo and if you like it uh, feel free to buy the product and uh, use it on your own accounts you can of course test this for other symbols so let me just wait until this test is finished and you will see that what i wanted to show you it is not really about like the um the absolute numbers because you can always increase uh, the risk with any strategy so it's more about finding a strategy that you feel comfortable with that has a good risk reward ratio for you and then uh, yeah you can you can trade this so um yeah let me just finish this test and then it will be it for this video as always um, let me know what you want to see next on this channel i also prepared a video where i show how you can um, upload your own strategies expert advisors in the mql5 store i will release it in uh, some days in the next days or maybe in a week uh, so you can upload your own um, expert advisor to the store and then i also plan to like um, uh, monitor the sales for this expert advisor and i can give you a quick overview of um, the sales that i made with this program so you can know if it is or if it might be worthy um worth it for you to publish your own expert advisors i think it is a great idea to generate some uh, profit besides the normal trading activities and yeah just wanted to have this as a new project on this channel to show you something new and i think this has never been shown on youtube so subscribe and like if you want to see more about this so you can see with this like increased lot size or let me say it like with this increased risk of course we will have a um a, a lot better performance and the overall outcome will be um a lot better because now we are increasing the risk and you can see this is now instead of the 60 percent performance that we had before now we see this um yeah what is it 500 600 percent uh, performance and this only comes because we increase the lot size so you can see uh, now uh, i do not get the trades here but i think the trades that we made here the last trades they had a uh, the a much bigger lot size and this is why we now have a total reward of um 700 800 percent i don't know so just waiting for the test to finish and then um i'm uh yeah, I'm looking forward to your comments below this YouTube video. Let me know what you think about it and have a great time. Bye bye.